Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my favorites for the month of November. Yes, I know everybody keeps saying this, but November has really flown by. Actually, 2017 has flown by. I don't know since I started this YouTube channel that, you know, time has gone by faster or that I'm older <laughs> and that time has gone by faster. I think it's the latter. <laughs> But, anywho, so yes, these are my favorites for the month of November that I'll be talking about. Oh yeah, and what do you think of my new background here, my Christmas lanterns? We'll see, I'm still kind of playing around with my decorations here in this room, so it's fun. It's fun. Alright, well let's get right to it. Now the first thing that I really like for the month of November, and probably that I'll just keep on using until after November, <laughs> <laughs> is by Algenist and is it is their pore corrector anti-aging primer. I really like this. I bought this during the VIB Rouge sale and when I finish this sale or no sale I will be buying this one again. I really like this primer. It comes out it's like a white cream and I'll put it all over my cheeks and my forehead and nose and my t-zone area pretty much where I have my pores and I'll just pat it on and let it dry. I don't know if you can see what that looks like there. It just looks, feels really good. It doesn't have much of a scent, but then I'll put my, you know, my corrector on and then I'll put my foundation and my foundation just kind of goes over it very smooth. It doesn't matter what type of foundation I use, be it uh, liquid or a cream, it really does smooth out. And, and even, you know, feeling it on my hand, it feels very smooth and very soft, I guess you could say. So, and this one retails for $42, so I will be buying this one again. I know it's it's a little bit pricey, and, and I believe you get one ounce in here. Yes, you get one ounce in here, and I think that this will last me a while, so... Because all you need is just one pump, maybe even a half a pump, depending on where you want to put it. But I really like this primer. I really like this primer. Now the next thing that I like, it is by Dr. Brandt, and it is their Pore Dermabrasion. And I received this in my Beauty Fix subscription box for the month of October. And this one sells for $58. You know, for the, for the subscription box, it costs $24 a month. And to get this in there... It's a really good deal, and I'm in no way affiliated with Derm Store. None whatsoever. I just wanted to pass on, you know, we need to help each other out here. Pass on the savings to you guys. And I'll use this one after my second cleanse, after, you know, take off all the makeup and then do a cleanser. And I'll use this one probably be, probably about two to three times a week, because it is an exfoliating cream, an ex exfoliating wash. You know, I really think it sh it does clear out the pores, it cleanses, it smooths, and it evens out my skin tone. And it smells really nice. And this is what it looks like here. Another kind of white gel, and you know, you can feel the beads in there. It has a really nice citrusy smell, and it feels very cooling on my face. And I really like the smell, and it's not, it, it can be harsh, I think, if you use it every day. But again, I'll use this probably about two to three times a week. And, you know, I have this magnifying mirror and there's always this one pore that's right here. I know where it is and it is the biggest pore that I have on my face. And I usually go by, by that pore to see what the others look like and see how it does. <laughs> I know. I know the things we do huh, in, our, in our own private time. So after the first time I used this, I looked in the mirror, my magnifying mirror, and I saw that my large pore was had shrunk a little bit and all the others were cleaned out I guess you could say and I really like this I really like this so I will be getting this one again too now another thing that I got in a beauty fix subscription box and I believe I got this one in the last month or actually this month's November and it is by Skin Medica and it is their facial cleanser and yes I use this one as my second cleanse and it's you know a really nice deluxe sample size and I really like this so much that I went ahead and bought the big one. And I know Derm, Derm Store usually have sales, so I usually, I did get it during a sale. And I think that would be a good time to buy it during a sale. And it is a foaming gel. This is what it looks like here. It's kind of a clear gel. You can see that there. 
It's a clear gel and it really does leave my face feeling clean and hydrated. It's not drying at all and very, very gentle on my skin. And it smells, it smells really nice and I really like this. So yes, I did buy the big one and this one's going in my travel bag. And usually cleansers, you know, they don't stay on your face that long. But this one, I really like how it felt on my skin and it didn't dry at all. It didn't dry it at all after, you know, I rinsed it off. So yes, I'm glad I got this one. Now another one of my favorites that I liked was by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is their Prism Eye Palette. And I really didn't think I was going to get this during the VIB Rouge sale. But when I went to the store and I swatched it, I kind of liked it. And here are the colors right here especially this color right here. You know, I didn't think that I would like this one and it has become my favorite for the month of November. <laughs> Who would have thunk? <laughs> but Anastasia Beverly Hills, she does have some really nice shadows. And you know, when I first saw this, it looks like the colors are, you know, not the colors that I usually go for. But when I swatched this one and Obsidian, I believe, no, this one's Obsidian and Osiris, and Eden, they were really pigmented and they were really pretty. They swatched very well on my hand. And I'm wearing them right now. I'm wearing, um, let's see which one. I'm wearing Dimension right now on my lid. And I used Eden and Saturn and Lore as my transition colors on my, on my crease. And I used Osiris and Obsidian at the corner of my eye. And I really like these shadows. I really like this palette here. Yeah, and I, I, you can get many looks. You can get you can get a lot of looks with this palette. So yes, this has become my favorite, which I didn't think that I would like. <laughs> now the next thing that I like are eyeshadow brush uh, eyeshadow brushes, and they are on the pricier side. These are by Wayne Goss, and they are. You know, they are a little bit pricey, and I got these on Beautylish.com. These three in particular, right here. I know they're a little dirty because I just used them today. Let's see here. This one is a number 18, and this is the blending brush. And this is what I use pretty much on my crease to get, um, you know, the transition, and it blends it very well. It picks up the product very well. It blends it very well. So this is the blending brush, and this one sells for $27. I know it's a little pricey. And this one's the brush number 19, and this is the precision, precision brush. So it's a little bit tapered. And this one, I'll get like a darker color and just, you know, get it in the outer V if I need to. You know, if I really wanted to put a, a darker color on my crease, just to really, I don't want it to go above my crease. I want it to go in my crease. I'll use this one. And this one sells for $23. And then this one here, it's it's the number 20 and it's the smudging brush. Smudger, smudging. And this one sells for $22. And this one, I, I'll use like a black or a dark brown. And this one really get into the outer V and just kind of really, it really, you know, it will smudge it out and just blend everything out and pretty much exactly where you want it to be. I like this, I like this brush. I like these, all these three brushes. It, you could also get it in a set with five, with two other brushes, I believe, a set of five, and I believe it comes out to be the same if you buy them separately. So I have these three, and I really do like his brushes, I really do. Now this one I found in the container store, and you know, for the holidays, they'll have this section for stocking stuffers, and I saw this. This is a beauty spatula. Here's the, the case for it. And let me get it. Let me get it out. And this is what it looks like. It's like a little spatula. And you'd use this, you know, if your, your product is getting low and you can't get in there or no more, it won't get pumped out. You can open it and just kind of scoop it out and get it. And I have this by Fresh. And it is, you know, just their usual lip lip balm the writing is kind of smudged out and I'm out and what I would do with this is just you know I hope you can see that it's just you know instead of using a finger or whatever and just scoop it out and then just put it on my lips that's a really good idea or some of your moisturizing creams your syrups that come your syrups your serums 
that comes in a little jar with a pump. You know, it's, sometimes it's hard to get, get the product that's around the bottom of the jar. This has really come in handy. This is a great gift, a great stocking stuffer. You know, I think this is a really good thing. So this has become my favorite. Now another one of my favorites I did buy also at the VIB Rouge sale and it is by T3 and it is their Whirl Trio. I believe that's what it's called. I bought this during the sale because it is pricey. This was $270 and it does come with two other attachments and I like it because you could, you know, you could interchange them. You know, if you want to go with a full body or a tapered look or smaller curls and I used this one today. And it comes with a glove. I think that's very important. There was a trial and error with this thing. And I really like it. It really does hold the curl pretty much the next day. So this has really become my favorite. I really like this. And it gets hot really quick. And it comes, I think, in five different settings. I, I don't know if you can see the dots right there when you turn it on. And I have mine, I think, on the third one. Not too hot, kind of in the middle. And I really like this. This was a very good investment. I really like this. And of course, my very, very, very best favorite for the month of November was Thanksgiving. We had Thanksgiving at my house and my family came. We were missing a few members, but most of them, they came in. And it was a full, happy, laughing, eating, watching football. Again, we won't talk about the Cowboys, but... Mm. but all in all it was really good now we have this tradition in our house that we name our turkey <laughs> yes we name our turkey um, and we name it something that's you know related to the specific year that we're in and this year we named it after something from the Game of Thrones because we've been watching it and my nephew and his wife they've been watching it and my niece and her husband have been watching it and they're almost caught up, I believe. So we've been talking back and forth about it. So we decided to name it Dracarys. Our turkey was named Dracarys, which if you watch the show, if and even if you don't watch the show, it's not spoiling anything. This is what Daenerys tells her dragons when she wants her dragons to blow fire. So it means dragon fire in Valyrian, in her language. I know, getting a little techie here, getting a little nerdy here, but... But yes, so we named it Dracarys. <laughs> and also I have an, another nephew. He lives out in California. But I'm going to do a shameless plug here. He has a podcast. And after every episode of Game of Thrones, he and a couple other uh, people will discuss it. And I'll put his link down below so you can catch it. If y'all watch Game of Thrones, so you can really, so you can, you know, get another input because they usually talk about the episode and, you know, the deep, deep, go into a little bit deeper into the episode, and and his name is Ryan. So yes, I'll put his link down below so you can check it out. Yes, I know a shameless plug, <laughs> but yes, we do name our turkey. One year we named it uh, the Big Bang because I think that's when they named the new uh, universe the Big Bang. Uh, Another year we called it the the force. You know, you have the dark meat and the light. <laughs> um, we did the mannequin challenge last year with it. Uh, I know it's it's fun. It's fun. I'm trying to think what other names we named it. Olaf one year. Olaf in summer because <laughs> he was cooked. <laughs> but I'll try to put a picture of our turkey somewhere around here. Uh, but yes, that, that was our, that was pretty much my favorite thing for the month of November was Thanksgiving and our family. And I'll try to put a picture of them up here soon. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful time of the year. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. These are, these are my favorites for the month of November. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and see what we're going to name our turkey next year. <laughs> but, anywho, again, thank you guys for watching. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.